so for better and easy lecture sessions do share and subscribe to my channel kamal sit so as we know that leader is a person who leads any team or a group of followers so we can define leadership as the process of influencing the behavior of others to work according to the leader for achieving a pre defined goals so it is the ability of a leader to induce subordinates to work with confidence and more zeal thus we can say that leadership is the ability to influence a group towards the achievement of goals the leaders and their leadership skills play a very important role in the growth of every organization the captain of a team the head of any department the leader of a political party a prime minister or a chief minister all have leadership skills and they are regarded as the leaders of a particular group or a team or a political party or a country the style of leadership mainly depends upon the type of job the qualities of a leader and on the situation in which the leader has to take a decision here are the main leadership styles that are used by various people to influence their followers the first one is democratic style in this case all the decisions are made by the leader are based on the inputs of each team member although the leader has the final say but each team member has say in decision making process it is also known as the participative type of leadership then is autocratic style it is just an opposite to the democratic style in this case the leader takes all the decisions on its own without consulting the others then is the free reign style this kind of leader has no control over his team members the leader avoids power the employees work themselves and manage their own problems the leader is only a head for the outsiders then comes the bureaucratic leadership style in this case the leaders work as per rules and regulations given to them by the authority the main focus of this kind of leadership is on procedures and uh, historical methods next comes the affiliation style this kind of leader is emotionally attached to his team members this kind of leadership is very helpful in uh, maintaining cordial relations between the employee and the employer it also encourages collective working approach then is the transformational style of leadership these leaders create a valuable and positive change for uh, their team members he works for transforming his team members with motivation training and guidance this kind of leadership also lays stress on delegation of authority where the work is delegated among all the team members and the last type of leadership style is charismatic leadership style this kind of leader uses his communicative and persuasive style to influence his followers the political and religious leaders mostly use this kind of leadership style to attract and influence their followers